How can you get bored of this? This is a lovely specced interior. <laughs> So this is a 65 plate. Um. Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an event. Right, so good morning guys. How's it going? And welcome back to the channel today. So Chris from the title of the video is getting a new car. Now we're gonna get into that later. We're just down at work at the minute because we're gonna be delivering the 335D today, which is an absolutely stunning car. Stage two, um, it's low miles for what it is. Uh, it's got fat twin pipes on the back. It sounds absolutely insane. Either way, the new customer, uh, the customer who's bought this is going to absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to go up country and we're going to film as much as possible, but pretty much it's just going to be the journey up there. We've got a few things going on today, but when we get up there, um, I'll show you Chris's new car because it's absolutely insane. It's, it's a lush colour as well. But um, for now, let's just head off to uh, wherever we're going. Before we actually shoot off, guys, check out the new LB TV stickers. This is in like the uh, Nardo grey sort of colours to match my car. We do them in white, black, and we've also got the LB TV gang stickers as well in these colours. Um, another car we got in stock, I believe we got a deposit on that though, that only lasts like a day, is this uh, Cooper R, which is absolutely insane. It's got some fat pipes on it. We've got this lovely Audi RS3 at the minute. It's got 49,000 miles on it, and I think it's got a massive spec on it as well, which is good. We've still got the set on. Uh, Cooper over there, it's like 420 brake horsepower that is, stage two, so that's absolutely nothing as well. And um, and yeah, we've just got the 118D Civic, or 118D and the Civic, and then uh, obviously this, which we're taking off now. To be fair, you know, how can you, um, how can you, oh, might have fired the key in properly. How can you get bored of this? This is a lovely specced interior on this 335D. Shock when you feel, but yeah, only 79,000 miles on this, absolutely insane. And one thing I love, that the seat belts actually come back um they come out here which is cool so we need to head off uh, basically crack on and get on the journey now and then once we get to i don't know i'll just i might just basically i might just film it as we go along see what happens on the way and uh yeah let's see what happens guys let's have a sick day and uh, make it fun because i know i know a few of you i know a few of you have actually been wanting to see more of the drives of me and chris and what we do and stuff so we'll just slowly get in the back and swing of things sort of although i'm just here Having a good time, basically. <laughs> yeah. Guys, anyway, let's uh, shoot off, whack everything in the sat nav, and get on the way. What's them boys uh, who like the old ride along with a bit of a karaoke on the way? Had a bit of a laugh on it. We're just at the place where we're delivering a car now to this guy. There's some crazy amount of people on the road. I can't believe it. But um, yeah, we're just delivering a car to this guy. Once we're doing that, uh, once we've done that, because I won't get it on camera because it's all personal, private. Um, I don't think they want us filming up here. So what I'm gonna do is we'll get this sorted. Once that's sorted, we'll head off, go do what we're gonna do next, and then we'll go get Chris's car, which I'm pretty sure you're all excited to see. So yeah, sit back and enjoy it. Should be a pretty interesting rest of the journey. Hopefully we can get a few more sing-alongs on the go. What are you saying, boys? Right, so we've pulled up to the next location. Apparently, it's in a Megane R26R out there. And I'm really keen to go see one because I've never actually seen one in the flesh. So, so look, mate, he wasn't messing. Oh, it's cool, that, isn't it? R26R. There's only a certain amount of, it, amount of these left on the road. It's pretty crazy. Look how nice it is. Hopefully, they don't mind me recording this, but what a stunning car. Carbon bonnet and everything. Let me know your thoughts of this, guys. Jeez, Joel be all over this. I don't know if Joel's watching. We're going R26R. Lovely bit of kit. All right, well, we're back on the road. Chris G's got a few splinters in his hand. We've had a bit of a rough and tumble, some timber. We're heading off to go get uh, Chris's new car now. So hopefully when we get there, it's all good. Um, I'll try and get some cinematics and everything of the car. But uh, if not, we'll do it when we get back. But either way, we're up country. We're about four hours away from home. So that's how far away we are. But um, trucking. Always trucking. Luckily, fingers crossed, we're actually having a good day so far. We're not, yeah, that's not really we're not having, a, we're having a late one so far, so touch wood. We've got fucking plenty of wood in there somewhere. <laughs> plenty of wood. <laughs> fucking touch of wood, mate. But yeah, we should be all right. So when we get there, I'll show you guys the new car. So I'm absolutely sweating. We're at where Chris is getting his new car from. Anyway, it's over there. It actually looks really nice, to be fair. The colour the color of it is pretty cool. It's different, for sure. I wonder if you can hear it as he uh, he's about to go past. And then, anyway, literally about to go past me in a second. But, yeah, the colour definitely changes in the sun now. I see what he means. It's quite cool, actually. It's like a bronzy tinge to it. 
as the um, comes across. But yeah, he's about to go past. You probably won't be able to hear it. But yeah, that's cool. There you go, she just went past. Anyway, I'll let you know in a second if he buys it or not. And if he does, we can uh, give you the good old reveal of what it is. But it's pretty cool, cool car. You see a few of them about, but um, nevertheless, good little, good little hot hatch. But anyway, we'll wait for, see what he's like when he gets back from his test drive. I'm, I need to just chill here a minute and just go get a drink or something because I'm absolutely sweat hand. So I'll be back in a sec, boys. Oh, we've just pulled up to a yeah. services. I don't have a clue where we are, but uh, I thought I'd show you the new car because Chris went ahead and actually got it. He was buzzing when he got back. And um, as, we're, as, as most of you know, Chris used to have an S3. So it's pretty similar, but it's not. So this is a 65 plate um, Golf Up. Check it out. They are the Golf R. Um, Chris prefers it a huge amount compared to his S3. And to be fair, I can't blame him. They do actually look really cool. And I'm yet to drive it, but I'll bring you guys like a full review. I'll do it with Chris uh, in the future. But for now, we're just heading off home. But, um, but what I'll do is we're just gonna grab some food and then we will catch up either tomorrow or another day. And we'll just go through the specs and everything that's got in the car. And then um, after that, we'll uh, probably end up the video and then we'll bring it back for another day to do a full actual view. So there it is, sick color. I don't even know what color it's called, do you? Um, we don't even know. I don't I'm think... sure being the limestone gray. Lime rock gray. No, oh, that's limestone. That's limestone. Oh, so that's You're limestone lime gray. Rock. So it's really cool because like now it will look like a sort of sea mineral gray, but when you put it into the sunlight in a it's minute, like it's like a, it's got like a nice bronze tint to it. So it's really cool. Well, guys, so it's the next day now, and Chris has actually gone ahead and uh, already done some mods to it. <laughs> he's gone ahead and painted his uh, mirrors in black, which I think he's done a sick job on, to be fair. He's um, only really done them about an hour or two ago, but he's still got to wait for it to dry properly and then do like a proper fresh polish either tomorrow or later on in the week. But it looks cool. But the, Chris, actually, he's actually um, put some gliding indicators on, put the indicators on like properly with the, with the hazard so it like goes slower. There you go, that's sick. Way better, isn't it? That mirror is 10 times better. That's cool. And we've got Ian's car over as well, which we're going to do a video on in the future. I'll quickly show you guys this steering wheel because he had it done by Control Customs. Is it unlocked? Yeah, check that out. Who, who thinks Chris should uh, go ahead and get this done? Looks mad, isn't it? As most of you know, Control Customs done my steering wheel, but they've also done Ian's and Forge Carbon. Looks absolutely insane. And Chris's and uh, Ian's one's got a digital dash as well. Yeah, yeah, the indicator's cool. That's definitely had something done to it because Ian's on like that, are they? Yours don't go like, like it's sort of like glide. It's like delayed, isn't it? Sort of. Yeah, the outer one's delayed, so it looks like it's sweeping. Yeah, but that's cool. Let us know in the comments below, guys. What do you reckon? Revo. Oh, I didn't actually go through what's actually been done to it. So it's stage one. What map is it? Do we even know? I don't know. It's gonna get. Bevo's gonna get over again, but Chris is gonna go stage two. I don't think he wants to go stage three because it's probably a bit too much power for the car, but. It's uh, got the Revo wheels, which I've never actually seen properly before. Um, and I actually really like them. They're sort of like Team Dynamics styled, but in a way, they're like, it's like Team Dynamics and Speedline. So anyone knows who's seen Speedline wheels, um, they're sort of like flat like that, but they've got the concave, like the Team Dynamics. But they look cool. And the colours, absolutely insane. But um, Chris has got like, you've got to get like, one of those little lips that Ian's got, haven't you? Oh, yeah. That look cool. But he's going to get a full... Maxim Design low line kit, which I think is going to set us off, and the fat Maxim diffuser with some big boy tips on the back. So yeah, you see a difference now. Chris is like the, what did he say? What's the third gen? Is that one? So what generation is yours, any? Second gen. This is third. This is. No, no, I don't think you do it in gens. Is it not? It's a Mark 7 Golf R. That's Mark a Mark 7. 7. Oh, seven and a half, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Five. Oh, so it's 7 .5 and that's a 7. Okay, cool. But you can see the indicator's difference there. Ian's like glides across, and Chris is like completely different but either way they both look they look similar don't they they look similar there's not much difference in them is there it is pretty much it's, subtle, though, it's just the lights i think well, and the fuse is a bit different or is that does that come standard that little that down there oh that's cool i like that Hi. 
Anyway, there we go, guys. So um, I've got to show you actually. Chris has got the um, extending pole shifters on her as well, but they're yeah, they're going because they're, going they're quite cheap ones. But um, yeah, what do you reckon? What do you reckon you should do to it next? Let us know in the comments down below. Obviously, it's gonna go stage two. I know a lot of you will probably are on here watch Tommy's videos as well, and Tommy's got a golf golf R. I think it's cool. Definitely looks real nice. I like the colour. Um, Ian's is over there as well. So we'll do a full review on Ian soon and we'll do a review on Chris's. I don't think there's much difference, but um, yeah, I like it. It's cool. They're cool cars. I just, I don't personally want to get one because I don't feel like connected when I'm driving a car like that. Like with this, I feel way better driving with this car because you feel, it's, you don't feel, you feel more in control in a way, but it's sort of like more fun to drive as well because it just gets the ass end out. With that, it's just four wheels planted to the floor. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And um, make sure you check out all of Global Motors' links in the description down below. All, obviously, I'll leave my links in the description down below as well, guys. But obviously, with Global Motors, I work there and Chris is there. And we're starting to get back into the swing of things slowly. So if you could all please go give us uh, a like on the Facebook page and a follow on the Instagram page. It means a lot to us because I've got a target of I've got to hit 5,000 likes on the Facebook page. Chris will give me a grand in cash at the end of the year. So if we can all go smash the Facebook likes, that'd be sick. But yeah, what do you reckon of Chris's new car? Uh, I know some of you out there would be golf lovers. So but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.